Hi, what I'm going to make for you today is, is a suran kadi. So basically this is like, it's called an elephant yam because it resembles the foot of an elephant. And it's quite used a lot in Gujarati cooking, but I haven't had this since I was 10 years old and when I went to the local um, shops, Indian shops this, this week, I found it and I thought of my grandma because that's the first time I had it when I went to India. And it's very nutritious, but it's full of carbs. So you're, if you're on a carb-free diet, it's not for you. What you need to do, or the ingredients that you need is ginger, Garlic, and garlic is very good for you for your blood pressure. We got tomatoes, which are used in all Indian cooking. We got chilies, which will give a, a, a hint and a zing, and very, very hot curry leaves. This I actually used in all Indian cooking, and this is a, I have had this from my tree, which is about 12 years old, so it's quite fresh, and you can smell the freshness. So the first thing you need is to, to peel the suran and it's yellow in colour so it's similar to a sweet potato. So that's what you do, you peel it nicely. It's, it's quite hard to peel and the way to buy a suran is the heavier it is, it's better, it's not full of water so that's what you need to buy you just have to feel it the heavier it is so you just peel it and you need to do is chop them into fine I'm just gonna grab a plate to put my stuff away so you need to chop them and you need to boil them there you go it's quite yellow so you need to just chop it into fine cubes. So what I have here is what I prepared a bit earlier. So it needs to be boiled for about five minutes till it's nice, nice and soft. Can you see it just, when you pinch it, it just crumbles. So now I'm gonna start doing, is start prepping the other ingredients as well. Just clearing my board out. So you need ginger. The way to do ginger is to just nicely glide your knife through it because you don't want to waste any part of the ginger. Nicely like this. You see it's all come through. And I'm quite of like a quick cook, so I kind of use a cheese grater a lot. Instead of chopping, I find it easier and quicker to do my curries when I'm, I've come up come home after work and garlic I've got this nice plump garlic as well so you only need one garlic if it's that big and tomatoes I'm going to finely chop that it's just basically to give a bit of like a citrusy um, um, taste to my curry and plus tomatoes generally I like them because of the freshness so you quickly just chop them nicely it, don't worry about the shape or the size because it's going to be cooked anyways and it's going to turn into like a nice pulp. So that, that's all you need and you need to just finely chop your chilies as well. If you're not a big fan of chilies, please do take out the seeds. The more the seeds, the hot it is. But as, as we're Indians and we're used to it, we like everything quite hot and spicy. So I'm just going to finely chop everything. Now, I'm just going to switch on my pan that's what you need, you need a bit of good quality oil do please make sure that you always use good quality oil because it's good for your heart so I'm using rapeseed oil because I use that in all my cooking you only need about a teaspoon not that much it's the usual spices that would be used in all Indian cooking. It's mustard, cumin seeds, hing, cloves, cinnamon sticks, my home blend garam masala. So heat the pan up, put a spoonful of mustard seeds, let them crackle. It's super quick. This will be done quite quickly in 15-20 minutes. As you see, they started to crackle. 
I'm just going to put my cumin seeds, my hing. At, at this point, make sure you've got a cover on, otherwise you're going to be covered in all, all, all seeds. And then you put in your, you put in your curry leaves. Ooh, nice. And a bit of cloves and cinnamon sticks. Cover it up a bit because you don't want the flavours to go out. You put in your tomatoes. And then you just grate your garlic as well. As I said, I'm like a super quick cook, so I like to use my cheese grater a lot. I just find it a bit easier. So you just grate it, grate your ginger as well, so you don't need to chop. The less washing up, the better. So that's, that's my motto, is to do quick, easy recipes. Nicely nutritious, something that you can have after work. So it's kind of like a one pot meal. You can have this as a soup as well, because it's very heavy. So all that's done. I'm gonna just grab, grab a towel to wipe my hands. So while this is cooking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start blitzing. I'm going to start blitzing my suran in my blitzer. So all you need for this is yogurt. So if you're a vegan, you use coconut or, or you just use any natural yogurt. So what you need to do, put your suran in. This is a quick way to do it, but you can do this without your yogurt as well. But it just takes a bit longer. Just a bit of water. Uh, blitz it for a few seconds till it becomes like a liquidy texture. So as you see, everything is started to blend in. Blend in. While well, that's cooking as well, that's nice as well. It's going to turn into a thick paste. That's what you need is a thick paste. So that's blitz. So now that's all done, you can see that the tomatoes are cooking nicely. Just make sure you always kind of like turn them around because you don't want the, the flavours to burn or all the spices to burn as well. So now that's coming out nicely. Just crush the tomatoes a bit because you want it to be like a saucy thing. And just put the suran in. There you go. And and a bit of water so it becomes like a soupy texture that's it and then you, it's the usual stuff that you need is a bit of salt a bit of turmeric these days you can even find, find fresh turmeric it's very nutritious for you it's, it gives a different flavor to your curries as well if you use the 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 fresh turmeric but you just have to make sure that you wear gloves while using it because it colors everything so this is going to take about five to six minutes so while that's cooking i'm just going to like clean up a bit so now while that's been simmering away i've just all tidied up the last thing that you need to do is just put a bit of gar uh, garam masala in it just to enhance its flavor just mix it through and if you have a look at the consistency here, it's kind of in between a porridge and a soup. So you can either eat it with your crackers or just by itself. So I'm just going to take my pan, pour everything in, nice and easy. You need to get all the flavours in, all the tomatoes, the curry leaves, all the good things. And the last thing you need to do is, as always with all Indian cooking, is you need coriander just to garnish it and a bit of chilies. That's all you need to do. So it's best enjoyed while it's hot with your crackers, with your chapatis, or on its own. But as I said, it's full of carbs. So if you're on a carb free diet, that's not for you. But as I'm not, I am literally going to taste it. Mm. It's so amazing. You can taste the siren, you can taste the tomatoes, you can taste the garlic. It's so nice, nutritious. So please do give this a try. And if you like it, do give me a thumbs up. <laughs>